I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the, a funny story of the second day where he did open up totally. In Australia, and I promised our guys a Foster's, the people who make Foster's beer make another beer called Victoria Bitter. And it's a f very famous and a much better beer. And it's never exported anywhere. Anyway, the second day we're working, the first day we work till like 11 o'clock. Because he, he doesn't care about time or food or anything. He's, he's making, we love making movies. And so we finished around 11 o'clock, and that means I get back into Berlin around 12 and have a, you know, a, a room service meal with Carol, and it's late. So the next day I'm there, and I said to the, one of the assistants, I said, what, what, do, you, what do you figure, how, how late tonight? And he said, oh, shit, Rod, maybe, maybe 9.30. I said, yeah, I figured. And then a little German assistant came up and said, Herr Taylor. It's a wrap. I said, what? It was about 5 o'clock. I thought, oh, great. Is my car there? Why she said, but Herr Tarantino wants you to stay here. He wants to see you. I thought, oh, Christ. what have I done? I've screwed up Churchill. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I sit there, and I've still got my makeup on, and I've you know, fat old clothes and the whole thing, and I'm worried sick. There's a knock on the door, and in comes Tarantino with a bucket full of Victoria Bitter, which you can't find anywhere in the world but Australia. And he said, let's talk about our movies. Now, the one of yours that I loved, and so and so, and he goes into these things. And another strange thing I noticed, apart from him loving some of my movies, much less me loving his, was the fact that a lot of young German people working on the set knew me. And I don't do publicity anymore, and my movies haven't been seen there for quite a while, a few television. But they say, hello, Rod. You know, I, I, oh, guten tag. Oh, uh, danke schön, Rod. Oh, da, oh danke schön, yeah. <laughs> and he'd been showing my movies at night. Not only mine, but everybody's. He'd, he'd show them to the crew. Just to say, you know who we're working with tomorrow? Look at this. He's just, he's like, he's like a magnificent genius kid sometimes. As any, anyway, he told me fully. He even told me that he still got a photograph I sent him when he asked for an autograph. Un I said, you what? He said, yes. I'd done some movie in Europe and he, he wanted an autograph picture and I sent it to him. And he appreciated it and still had it. And I'm thinking, I'm working with the great Tarantino. And he tells me about this stinking photograph. 